Many thanks to Nomadic for sponsoring this week's video. So over the years, I've used a multitude of different camera bags and styles from an assortment of different brands, but one brand that I've never used before is Nomadic. Now, I've been aware of who they are and the styles of bags they offer for quite some time, but they were never really on my radar as they're not particularly known for creating outdoor and landscape photography style camera bags. And last year, I guess I think it was last year, when Peter McKinnon launched his new bag in conjunction with Nomadic, I admit I was a bit intrigued, but when I got my hands on one, I was, let's say, I guess maybe a bit underwhelmed, as I felt that it wasn't something that I would use, as it was just such a monstrosity of a bag, and honestly, it seemed rather expensive at $400. And if I were to completely fill that bag up with camera gear, well, it would result in an absolutely brutal hiking experience, which is why you never saw a video on this channel regarding it. Now, fast forward to today, Pete has just released an all new bag with Nomadic called the Everyday Camera Bag, which in my opinion, after using it for the past couple of weeks is something that fills, uh, I guess a gap, so to speak, in my camera bag lineup. And here it is, this is the Everyday Camera Bag, now, ugh, I want to preface this real quick by saying that this is a pre-production model and there are some things that are going, to, going to, uh, to be changing, which is a good thing because when I first unboxed this, I was a, a bit puzzled or maybe perplexed by a few of, the, of the, uh, the design choices that were made here. So here is the bag, which I think is a, a very good looking bag. It's got a, a stealth look to it. You got to excuse the the pollen on my version that the pollen in North Carolina this year has been absolutely off the charts it's been atrocious but I tried to clean this up as much as I could for this video but this is it's got a, a real kind of stealth look to it it doesn't scream I'm a photographer come rob me I've got thousands of dollars with the camera gear in here so I do think that looks good it's a a 28 liter pack and uh, the material you know I'm not I don't know all the specifics as far as like what's the material made out of, but I can say that it's a good looking material and it is, uh, it feels extremely durable. So um, here's the outside of the pack, obviously. You got all these kind of attachment points right here where you can attach uh, uh, various different things. You could put a tripod on the outside here, um, trekking poles or I don't know, anything that you want to attach here. It does have uh, additional attachment, additional attachment points on the side as well. What's cool is the way that they designed the water bottle slash tripod holder, which is right here. It's got this kind of, uh, oh my God, the pollen. This little uh, magnet area right here that just kind of closes shut. So when you're not using this area, it's not kind of flapping around. It's not open if you want to, uh, if you want to not use it. If, if you decide not to use it, you just simply just kind of close it down. The magnets hold it in place. But it does hold a good size water bottle right through there. And if you want to put a tripod in here, you definitely can do that as well and strap it to the top portion. On the opposite side is the exact same feature. Attachment point and another water bottle slash tripod holder. Now, this bag is not designed specifically for landscape or outdoor photography, so it cannot house a, a big giant tripod. So the type of tripod that I would bring on a, on a full blown landscape photography trip, it will not fit in here. But any type of travel size tripod will slide in here no problem at all, that works good. The, um, it's got a nice, ooh, it's got a nice handle on the very top here, very nice and padded, so you can easily kind of move it around if you're not going to carry it by the actual shoulder strap. So if you're on an airplane and you need to lift it up into the overhead compartment, you can grab it right here. I do wish it had one of those kind of side holders here, so in a, a kind of a, a lever handle, not a lever, a handle on the side here. Whenever I'm traveling, when you go to throw your bag, not throw your bag, place your bag in the overhead compartment, I find it easiest to grab one of these side packs, but this one doesn't have it. Not a huge deal, but it is something that uh, I wish it did have, but nevertheless, the handle on top is nice. Here is the, the harness system right here. Pretty thin straps. When I first got it, that's the first thing that jumped out at me was how thin these straps were. They are not too thin on from a thickness perspective. I think that they're pretty good, but I tell you what, this is a very comfortable bag. It weighs, I believe just over three pounds, which is pretty light for a bag of this size. And I have this completely loaded up with all of my gear, all of my, uh, my medium format gear. And it's pretty heavy, but it's not nearly as heavy as I thought it would be. So I jumped online to figure out exactly how much this weighs. And it only weighs, I think 3.01 pounds or something like that, just over three pounds. It's pretty light. 
but it's got very comfortable um, back area right through here. It's got the uh, little luggage slide through here so you can slide through the, um, what do you call that thing? The kind of roller bag handle thing you can slide right through there, which is always handy when you're scooting through the airport. It's got your kind of standard sternum strap right here, which is a must, I think, for any type of a, any type of bag where you're gonna, going to carry a you know a large amount of weight and you're going to be walking over a long distance as you got to have a good sternum strap right there these aren't adjustable the straps at the top it's not a big deal for me but if you happen to be extremely tall or maybe on the shorter side that might could, could possibly pose an issue for you but it wasn't an issue for me at all and then as far as the uh, the zipper pulls are concerned let me just lay this down here it's got nice zipper pulls, as you can see right through here. And the only issue I had is they're, they're a little bit small. It's got this kind of uh, like metal outer shell on it. And I feel that maybe if you had gloves on, these might be kind of hard to grab. Your hand could possibly slip off of it. But like I said, this is not designed to be that, um, you know, super adventure camera bag. So I'm sure that that wasn't a big concern of theirs. And it's not that big a big concern to me either, but I did think that that, that could possibly pose a potential issue if you had some gloves on and you were trying to grab these. But um, overall, I think it's pretty nice. And it's a very well-constructed bag also. I haven't had any issues with, uh, with my copy so far. But uh, as far as the actual contents are concerned, it does have the, uh, what side is it on? The laptop compartment right here, which I think is an absolute must, holds a 16 inch uh, laptop computer right in there. I do like this kind of an access because you don't have to get inside of the bag to get your computer out. I can't tell you how many times where you have your camera, your bag in the overhead compartment on a flight and you just wanna get your computer out. That's a very real scenario. You don't wanna to have to take the whole bag down to get into the top compartment or the back compartment to get your computer out. You wanna be able to just pull it straight out like that. So I think that that is a very nice change, or not change, a very nice feature that I definitely appreciate. Now, as far as the most important part of the bag, you know, the main area where you're gonna carry your stuff. So, right here is said area. So this is the way that I have mine configured right now. I have my Fuji GFX uh, 100S right here with a mounted 32 to 64. I also have the Fuji G100 to 200 millimeter lens here. Just, um, you know, headlamp, a uh, shotgun mic, kind of little bits and bots things there, little tools and plates and things like that. Additional batteries right here. Then as you can see right here, you got more storage. What's really cool is these. I don't know if anybody else appreciates these kind of things, but I get, I kind of like nerding out on new bags and I haven't had a new bag in a while, but these little zipper pulls right here are something I've never seen before. It's such a tiny detail, but you see how these, the orientation of these are flipped this way. Normally these would be flipped the other way, but you just, you grab them a little bit differently, which is so bizarre to me, but I like it in a weird way. But um, nevertheless, I think that's that's pretty cool. This is just a small feature. One of the changes that's gonna be made with this bag is this, these little uh, dividers here are not gonna be here. So these are gonna be uh, two large pockets so you can put anything in here. You don't have that limitation right there across the center, which I think is a good feature. But uh, that's nice to have these kind of little small storage compartments there. And then you also have these removable kind of uh, internal camera units, camera cores, I'm not sure what the, what they call them. But um, this one came with the two small ones. So you got this one here and you got that one. You can kind of rotate them around if you want to. They also sell a large core, I believe, that fits this exact area. What's kind of cool is the, the measurements of these is, was obviously, of course, it was thought out in advance, but you can turn these like this as well, if for whatever reason you wanted to carry it like that. But perhaps one of the neatest features of this bag is this. Let me put it back to the way I had it. So if you're going on a trip, just a quick day outing, which I think that at least for me, especially with what everything that's transpired recently, oh, many of my trips have not been those full multi-day, you know, five, six, 10 day trips. They've been just kind of one or two day trips to the waterfalls of North Carolina. And on those trips, I don't carry a ton of gear. And sometimes I only need one camera body and one lens because I know the waterfall that I'm visiting and I know the exact gear that I need. So let's just say that I don't need this entire area. I can just remove this 
And then this area here folds down like this. And I think they call this their ladder system or something like that. And what's cool is now this empty area, which you can access to the top portion here, is that much larger. So the top portion of this bag has just become so much larger because we have, we're able to flip this ladder portion down. And I think that is really, really cool. Plus the fact that you can get to this top portion of the bag, which I haven't shown you yet. You can get there from, if I can get this out, you can get there from the inside of the bag. So there's not only one way to get to that top portion of the pack, which I, which I, which I can definitely appreciate. So let me, let's get my polarizer, take that out. But let me put this back in here. But yeah, that's cool because a lot of these kind of bags, in order to get to the top compartment, you have to close up everything here to get to that area. So I'll show you that area now. And all the zippers are weather sealed. I don't want to say they're weather resistant. I haven't had mine in rain. It definitely seems like it would be pretty, uh, pretty solid in a wet situation, but all the zippers are weather sealed and they zip very smoothly too. And I definitely appreciate those kind of things. And as far as the top compartment is concerned right here, this opens up. Let me lay it down here so you can easily see this. Oops. Camera bag reviews are always so difficult to do on camera because you got so many things flipping around. But this is that top portion here. You know, you got my Walkman in here, microphone, another microphone, lap mic, SD cards. And this is that area that I was talking about that I thought was a little bit um, odd that there was no pockets in this area because this seems like so much wasted space. But that is one of the biggest design changes. There's gonna be pockets, I believe. I know on the sides right here, so a pocket there, a pocket there, and I think pockets up here as well. So that will be on the final production model. But that's a big area right there. And when you have this kind of step area, what do you call it? I guess they called it the ladder. When that is in the down position, this area up here is just that much bigger. So I think that's really cool. Let me put this stuff back in here. Let me zip this up. And what else? What else? Oh, as far as the dividers go, let me flip this back down again. I'm gonna try and open this up without all of these contents pouring out. Wish me luck. Oh yeah. Okay. So you can also take all of these, all of these, um, I don't even know what you call them, just little compartments here. You can take all of them out. You can take that ladder system out to where this entire area is just one huge empty area. And then you can put these dividers in here. They sell two different kinds of dividers. These are kind of the, the bigger dividers. So you could use this entire area as a place to store camera gear only. And then there's also these smaller types of uh, dividers that are, I think it strikes a very good balance between rigidity and flexibility and sturdiness. It's just, it's not too too rigid. It's not unflexible. I mean, these things, uh, you can really kind of wad them up. Very flexible, but they also have enough protection too. They're padded as well. So I wouldn't have any concern with keeping the contents of my camera bag safe using these. So. I think that's definitely cool, but it's neat to have the flexibility to remove both of these. Let me just show you instead of talking about it. So there's that one. There's this one right there. Hope that doesn't fall. And then you could remove that entire ladder system and then use this entire area as a place to store your camera gear. I thankfully do not have that much camera gear to ever bring around. So my setup would either be something like that and then bring this top portion down or something like this. And this has been the way that I have been using it right there. So just two lenses, kind of a wider lens or mid-range lens and a long lens, one camera body, all the accessories that kind of go along with it. And it's worked for me so far. I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything else. I know I am. Um, but overall, you know, it's like I mentioned, it's not, it's not a full on landscape photography camera bag. I don't think it was designed that way, but what it is, in my opinion, is an extremely flexible bag. And it's great for those one or two day trips. And it's something that I will definitely be using on those kind of trips. You know, I'm headed to uh, Kanab, Utah to Zion National Park. Actually, when you see this video, I'll be there. And I'm not bringing this bag on that trip because that's a full blown landscape photography trip. I will be carrying more gear and I need a place to carry a larger tripod. But for those short kind of weekend trips or day trips, this bag right here hits it out of the park. This is a great option for that. So the Kickstarter campaign, I believe, launched last week. 
I'm not 100% sure exactly when this video is going to go live yet, but I can say that it just launched. And I think that the Kickstarter, I think you can get in on this at the price of $199, which I think is a very, very fair entry point. Of course, you got to buy things like your dividers, what kind of core system you're going to be at. But it's definitely going to be in line with uh, the other, you know, more popular camera bags that are out there. So I think that's definitely a nice touch. So I do hope you enjoyed this week's video. It has been a while since I had a camera bag review video out there and I couldn't be more excited when uh, when uh, these guys reached out to me about this one. So um, anyone who's been following this channel for a while knows that I'm a complete camera bag nerd. If you could see all the bags down here on this floor right now, you'd be <laughs> flabbergasted. But if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section below and I guarantee I will get back in touch with you. And if you enjoyed this week's video, if you could give it that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And as always, I really do appreciate you watching this week's video and I will see you all next Wednesday. Bye.